All right, it is DJ JD Bass here doing a, another product review of the Shabe Four Bar. Uh, it comes in this nice case right here. It's got a pouch on the top, and it comes with this little. Um, I guess you could say it's kind of like a bolt, um, big giant wing nut thing. And it also comes with a stand, which I'm not going to show you the stand it comes with because I use ultimate stands. Um, but uh, it also it does comes come with, with a remote control. You have uh, uh, pedal one, pedal two, pedal three, um, preset, sound on, and blackout. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the case and show you how it looks inside the I case. Just love it. And they're uh, lightweight, very portable. Um, the case is really good quality. All right, I um, have I the have four bar up on the stand, and um, as you can see, um, these are very nice um, because of a couple reasons. One, they're very thin, and two, uh, they all move either direction. So you're able to utilize a very small amount of space, and just as a function of the light, get a lot of um, variation in, in the you types of things. You just snug it up and that's good enough. Um, you got your power right here. You have your display right here. And right now I um, you also have your DMX uh, input and output. And right here is your max or minimum sensitivity for the built-in microphone, which is located right there. And last but not least, this is where you plug in your pedal, um, kind of a four pin connection and it kind of screws on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right, and I have the that. four bar on and I actually have it pointed up at my um, kind of my wall slash ceiling um, and you could clearly see the four um, uh, par cans, I guess you could call them. Um, I think as far as I know they are 56's in terms of brightness. Um, they are rather bright uh, but at the same time they're not super blinding so you can't so aim I'm going to go ahead and tap uh, on the unit. Right now it's in sound active mode. And it has several different programs kind of built into and then, it. Uh, if you look down at the foot pedal, um, if I press my blackout button, which is uh, at the end, shuts off the unit, press it again, and it's back on once it gets, once the uh, volume is white. Going. So you have your, your general colors from what it looks like, um, and then you have two different ones at the end here. Um, this one is color change. It's just changing through the colors, and you're seeing about the the speed it goes. There's no way to adjust the speed. Um, that's just how fast it goes. And then the last one here is this one's fading, and so it's fading between all the different colors. It looks really blinky on the video when I'm looking at the screen here, but it's actually quite a bit more smooth than what it looks like on the video so um, all right here is a DMX program um, basically what you have in DMX is your first channel right here um, all the way up does different programs in lighting um, they're just different chases different kinds of chases different kinds of looks um, and so once you get to the very top though is now in sound active mode and this is all on channel one. Now if I go day. ahead and tap the light you'll see it change colors um, in sound active mode. Um, okay. Now so next up what we have is um, the dimmer and the dimmer basically dims from nothing all the way up to full brightness. That's channel two. Okay. Now this is, I was just showing you the single light on the end um, dimming, but that's because that's the only one I have on right now. So you can do that with all of them. Um, so you have to have that all the way up in order to see your lights at full power. Um, next is strobing. Now the four bars don't really strobe very fast. That's the fastest they strobe. Um, it could be a downfall of, of uh, you know, if you wanted to do faster strobing, then that's one thing that might not be uh, very good for you. Um, I was a little disappointed when I first saw the strobing on here, but then again, later on I realized that I wasn't going to use them for strobing anyways. So, um, just so you know, that's the fastest they go on strobing. 
So I'll fade that down, and then uh, the next one is, these are just RGB. From here on out, it's RGB. So here's red, here is your green, is the next one in line, and then the next one in line is your blue. So you can just mix them however you like, and uh, I know my camera doesn't really represent very well what's going on with the colors, but you can see as I'm changing, they're changing as well. Um, and then, just so forth and so on. So you have your next one, there's your red, here's your green, and putting blue into the green, you have that color with the two together, and uh, so forth and so on. You can make whatever color patterns you know you like, basically. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's it's really uh, a quite a uh, nice fixture overall, um, as you can see, uh, very versatile in DMX. Um, so it's basically like a RGB for each one of these colors. And um, I know it looks like the one on this side is strobing, but it is not. It's just that it's too bright for my camera to really um, deal with right now, I guess. That's the best way to describe it. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, in a nutshell uh, the 4 bar in DMX mode. And uh, uh, personally, I think this is a great light for the money. Um, you can get them for anywhere from 4 to 400 to. Um, uh, all the way down to probably 275, 300 bucks, somewhere in there, um, depending where you're looking. Um, oh, I want it to fall over. Um, this is the front of the light, what it's looking like right now. <clears throat> so yeah, these are my main uh, stage lights and wash lights for DJ work, and I've uh, really enjoyed uh, their performance, and I. Do highly recommend them. So that's the Chave 4x4.